Right now at 11, America mourns the loss of a legend. We've learned the Queen of Soul has passed away. Aretha Franklin died this morning in Detroit after suffering from pancreatic cancer. CBS's Jerika Duncan takes a look back at the life of one of the world's most recognizable and soulful singers. You're no good. I break her. She sang and lived with soul and style. You better think, think, think about what's trying to do me. The daughter of a Baptist preacher, young Aretha got her start in the church choir. She became a single mother in her teens. But she never stopped pursuing her dream. By the 1960s, she was known as the Queen of Soul. Her biggest hit, Respect, became an anthem of the civil rights and women's movements. Franklin won two Grammys for the song and an honorary award from Martin Luther King Jr. A string of hits followed in the 60s and 70s. Franklin recorded more than 40 top 40 singles. And collected 18 Grammy Awards for her signature mix of gospel, blues, rock, and pop. Just hopefully, I touch someone in a positive way. In 1987, she became the first female artist inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But she faced a lot of heartache in her personal life. Her father was shot during a robbery and later died. Her two marriages ended in divorce, but she raised four sons, and she remained an exuberant presence on stage. I got me a man named Dr. Oh, 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 in later years, the honors rolled in, a Presidential Medal of Freedom and a featured role at President Obama's inauguration. She stole the spotlight at the 2014 premiere for the movie Selma. But in 2017, she appeared frail, singing for Elton John's AIDS Foundation. At that point, she had already announced it would be her final year performing in concert. As word spread that she was gravely ill, Aretha's friends and fans called to say a little prayer for the Queen of Soul. Jerika Duncan, CBS News. Aretha Franklin was 76 years old. Her family released a statement that reads in part, in one of the darkest moments of our lives, we are not able to find the appropriate words to express the pain in our heart. We've lost the matriarch and rock of our family, the love she had for her children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and cousins knew no bounds. Now to some live pictures out of Hollywood. Tributes already pouring in. Franklin's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame already covered in flowers, as well as a crown and a sign reading, Respect. Thank you, Ms. Franklin. And in New York, at the Apollo Theater, a marquee reads, Rest in Peace, Aretha Franklin. We're told that funeral arrangements will be announced in the coming days. Stay with CBS 11 for continuing coverage on air and online 